today. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful, sunshiny day today. And I am coming to you with a special <clears throat> presentation. It's a presentation talking about you taking the time to evaluate what accomplishments you have been able to obtain over 2014. Here we are right after Christmas, and you don't have to wait till New Year's Day to make your resolution. What is fabulous is right after Christmas, if you can start to just assess what, what you have overcome. When you really start to list those things, you're going to think, dang, I really did it. You know, maybe just at a glance, you might feel like it was all failures, but all those things have brought you to where you are right now. You know, I've noticed when you really look at things like that and really look at what you can do and what you can overcome, maybe you haven't physically manifested anything, though mentally you've propelled yourself further than you ever thought possible, you know? It's funny to me how, you know, so many people go through so much stuff. Everybody has their stuff, whether they look like this beautiful package on the outside with everything just together, you know, it's probably not real. Everybody's where they are from the experiences they've come to. And who are we to judge those people? And who are we to walk past people on the streets that maybe even they're strung out on drugs and think, oh, what about what they've been through to get to that point? And what about helping somebody to overcome those things or, or loving them where they are, you know? But most of all, loving ourselves, not looking at ourselves like we might someone just that has made a shambles of their life and they sit in crumbled ruins that's how we see ourselves sometimes but if we can really dive deeper than that and look into what we have overcome wow what we have manifested it's really a beautiful thing what if you started your vision board off like that this year what if you have a whole new cork board with little pretty pegs on there and you tack up like things that that happened this year that were great that you, maybe they were the worst thing that ever happened to you but you overcame those and that is great what about the new vision of the things that you want to manifest in this next year all you have to do is think it and be it. All you have to do is think it and break it down into bite-sized itty-bitty pieces, right? You know, a lot of times we, when we start to look at what we've gone through like that, we can really see how when we are put into a survival mode situation, how we can really overcome. And I think that is empowering, you know? I mean, in this past year, you know, I've gone through a divorce. I've gone through trying to figure out, finally realizing I couldn't stay in the home that my kids grew up in, you know, that I raised them in. I couldn't keep my Jeep that I loved. I had to sell that car and try to find something that was reliable that I could pay off. I had to try to feel like, figure out how to sell the house and how to, to fix the pool that was all these problems with the house where it had just gone to heck, you know? In the midst of the ruined, crumbled relationship, things around me were crumbling, you know? So I had to figure out how to put that house in the market and how to get it going and how to get a loan and how to convince people on my minimum wage job that I could pay for it. How to get a bank lender. All these things that I didn't do that part financially, you know, and you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to say like, oh, well, you know, I, I didn't know. I just hadn't had to deal with that. I can do anything I set my mind to. It is just not something I was familiar with, you know. I mean, ha having the love of my life, you know, leave me being served with finalized papers that I thought, oh, some things that I had no choice of, though sometimes all you, all, the only thing you have control over is your reaction to the matter at hand, you know? You know, losing my job for standing up for this, for what I believe in. And that didn't seem to mesh. A Shine, Google Shine article put out on me that I was some sort of cult leader, anorexic pushing freak, which is not true. You know, and all that manifested into publicity that, that my job didn't like and I was forced to step down and figure out how I was going to pay for food for my son and I, my daughter and her family. 
helping them out. Where there's a will, there's a way. Starting a YouTube channel and it being shut down by, by haters and figuring out how to get that back up and not breathing <gasps> until Christopher and I did it, you know? Figuring out how to get a service out where I feel like I can genuinely help people by coaching them and them receiving that and me actually manifesting that, you know? I mean, down to how the heck to move 20 years of stuff and how to have a gut-wrenching experience of that and embrace it the whole time. You know, it's just been thing after thing. My daughter moving four times, her relationship, all the different things, Christopher going through the midst of all this and almost flunking out of the 10th grade, the rising to the occasion, passing, and then this year flying high with A's and B's. Go, baby. Because through this, he's become a little bit stronger, you know? And so has his mommy. It's just so many things, you know? All the while, keeping true to my low-fat, raw, vegan lifestyle that overcomes disease in my life, that I know good and well if I slip off the track of that, autoimmune disorders would take me over again, and they will not control my life. The thought of, of weight management will not control my life. The thought of being a slug or, or being um, addicted to foods or all these different things will not control me. I have a plan and I will stick to my plan because it lends the results that I want to stay on, you know? Starting a YouTube channel and producing well over 700 videos in about eight months, shazam, you know? Actually giving out from the heart and soul something I believe in why haters troll my channel and I really have developed a I don't give a rip attitude. Because the cool thing about YouTube is haters really don't have to watch you, but they will watch you again and again and again. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's even coming to that realization where you think, you know what, do or die. I will try my bestest every dang day. And, you know, if I don't make it, I don't make it. But I don't foresee that happening. I will know I did my bestest. I will dance through the rain every day. I will bring a song to my beautiful, humble home. You know? And it's a safe place and a, and a place of, of rest and peace for me and my boy. You know? And my girl. I will dance and sing in the midst of hardship and love every moment of it because these are the, the chapters of my life and these are the chapters of your life. Why do we not think we're important enough to make a difference for ourselves? Why is it okay just being okay? I mean, with every day thinking, here I go again, and here I am, you know? I looked at all these things as I was writing it, and I didn't even mention them all to y'all. There's a lot of other personal things on there, and a lot of things I've been through, and a lot of ways that, that I've tried to start dating, and I, I'm not used to the way men will try to take advantage of you. And, I, you know, I haven't dated in, uh, since I was 18, and coming to the realization of things and really having to go through a lot of changes in my life. And I just think, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, still standing, still staying to my plan and staying to my convictions of who the heck I am. More strong in that every day, you know. Taking back the reins of your life. Taking back the reins in this year, in this day. Okay, so this is after Christmas right now. We've gone through all that. Let's move forward, you know? I mean, let's not wait till after we even party it up on New Year's Eve and you're so trashed it takes you three days to get over that, whether you have a food hangover, alcohol hangover, dope hangover, whatever, you know? 
heart hangover where you gave yourself again and again and again to those people who aren't worthy of you. Taking back the reins, you know. No longer giving the power of your life away to someone else. But today, taking control of you in the name of love for you so that you can become your greatest self so you can love the people you care about in this world. You know, that's what feels good. You're good enough and you're worth it. And now is the dang time.